Testing, testing, one, two, Ichi Nissan Chi Q, Roku Sichi, Achi Kyuju. Hello, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality today. A very exciting video. So we're going to talk about how Facebook or Meta have been banning people with the account name called Metaverse on various different platforms, including Instagram. But first, do remember that we are giving away a brand new HP Reverb G2, which is sponsored, by the way, uh, by HP themselves. So there we go. Here it is. Um, so they will be sending it to you directly. Uh, and also Cyber Shoes are giving away a brand new pair of Cyber Shoes. So one of you lucky winners uh, will get to win, which is these ones here. So they will be this ones, the ones to send it to you directly. I'll be sponsoring a $50 voucher that you can redeem uh, on either your Meta Quest store or your Steam store or your Viper store. Whatever you want, it doesn't matter. And tomorrow, if apologies for the delay, we'll also be announcing the VR cover giveaway, which you can go on the website and pick anything you want up to 30, 29 US dollars or 29 euros. So that's pretty cool. So do make sure you hit the enable bell after you subscribe. All right, guys, so let's go to today. Oh, by the way, do you like the Ultra Leap t-shirt? They sent it over to me. Really, really awesome. I think it's really cool. I'm going to show you something at the end of this video that I posted on our Twitter uh, for those who enjoy to know the behind the scenes stuff. So let me just uh, click on studio mode. Okay, here we go. And then here, and then just transfer very quickly. There we go. And bring you to the article as to what's been going on, because this is quite big news. So um, uh, the New York Times have reported her Instagram handle was Metaverse. Last month, it vanished. So five days after Facebook changed its name to Meta, an Australian artist, let me just make it a bit bigger so you can see. There we go. Uh, an Australian artist uh, found herself blocked with seemingly no recourse from an account documenting nearly a decade. Wow. Nearly 10 years of her life and work just vanished, completely gone. Uh, this is her here. So just make it, uh, let me just click on this so that you can see it better. So her name is uh, Thaimai Bowman's Instagram account was erased after Facebook changed its name to Meta. Uh, Matthew Obot is a writer, apparently. I mean, that is that is really sick. That's, that's just, oh man. I mean, I, I understand why they did it. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, come on, we, we're supposed to be living in a democracy, you know? I mean, I, I, as I say, Facebook to me, honestly speaking, the way they operate, um, is virtually exactly the same as the Communist Party. It would be exactly the same. If Facebook was a country, it would be communist because it restricts everything. It's uh, quite dictatorial in terms of how it goes about things and always rules. And honestly, a lot of the rules on, on, on Meta's company are bogus. They did. I mean, come on, to delete someone's work after 10 years, this is the kind of stuff that makes me go, why would I want to put money into a company like that? And by the way, if you are a, a creator and you upload stuff on Spark VR, which is the augmented reality platform owned by Meta, they will own a sub-license of any work that you upload there and be able to use any of your filters or special effects without any permission from you whatsoever. They don't even have to give you any money whatsoever for any purpose. That means even for commercial uses. So if they come up with new apps that uh, you can then download, you know, as a side load app download, you can download on the App Store or the Google Play or something like that, um, and you pay for it, you won't get paid as a content creator. So just FYI, these are the kind of things that are actually listed on the privacy policies website that you can go and look at. I'll try to find the link again because I know it's there. I went there last week again. Uh, I try and put it in the description below if I, if I find it um, by the time I end this video uh, tonight. So let's just go back to uh, the article that's here. So um, in October, Thaimai, or Thaimai, sorry, I'm not quite sure how to say her name, Bowman, an Australian artist and technologist, found herself sitting on prime internet real estate. In 2012, uh, she had started an Instagram account. Wow, that's a long time ago. Uh, at Metaverse, a name she used in her creative work. On the account, she documented her life in Brisbane. Uh, hi to everyone who's in Australia watching the channel, by the way. Um, and where she studied fine art and her travels to Shanghai, where she built an augmented reality company called Metaverse Makeover as well. That's a pretty cool name. And we're going to dive more deeper uh, into also company names in just a moment. So do watch until the end of the video. Uh, she had fewer than 1,000 followers when Facebook, the brand company on Instagram announced on October 28th that it was changing its name. 
Oh, oh, only a thousand followers. Wow. Okay. I thought she would have had at least like maybe a hundred thousand followers. I mean, I completely understand. Like if you have, if you have a hundred thousand followers and you're trying to compete with a, another company's name with a brand, right? I'm like, okay, maybe it's more, 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 more the case that they're going to take you down. But we're talking about a thousand followers. I mean, what the hell, man? This is, this is completely ridiculous beyond belief. She had fewer than a thousand followers. I mean, come on. Please leave a comment below, guys. Let me know if you disagree or your thoughts or your reaction on this. What do you guys think? I'd love to have this conversation with you in the comments. So do leave a comment below. Uh, henceforth, Facebook would be known as Meta. A reflection that is its focus on the metaverse, blah, blah, blah. In the days before, as word uh, leaked out, Miss Bowman began receiving messages from strangers offering to buy her Instagram handle. Wow. You are now a millionaire, one person wrote on her account. Another warned the FB isn't going to buy it, they're going to take it. And they did. Oh my God, how right were they? On November 2nd, exactly that happened. Well, not too long ago, about a month plus ago in that case. So it took a while for the story to come over. Early that morning when she tried to log into Instagram, she found that her account had been disabled. A message on the screen read, your account has been blocked for pretending to be someone else. The AIs have blocked your account. Whom she wondered, was she now supposedly impersonating after nine years? I mean, exactly. What the hell's going on? She tried to verify her identity, her identity with Instagram, but weeks passed with no response. So basically, at the end of the day, this poor lady, all she was trying to do is promote her business, augmented reality, and she got taken down. Um, so I'll, I'll put a description uh, below you know, for you to go and read it. Let's just read this passage. The Metaverse, Mr. Zuckerberg said in, announce, in announcing his news company will not be created by one company. Instead, he said it will welcome a range of creators and developers making interoperable offerings. Yeah, right, whatever. You take people's licenses when we upload content onto your Instagram filter, Spark AR, and now you go and delete people. You're full of beep is as far as I'm concerned, Mr. Zuckerberg. He built Facebook by creating a platform where other businesses meet their customers, Mr. Dr. Rowe said, but where Facebook structures the overall market, reserving to itself the right to destroy those businesses through carelessness, malice, or incompetence. Facebook has essentially uh, unfettered discretion to appropriate people's Instagram usernames, said Rebecca Gibling, director of the Intellectual Property Research Institute of Australia at the University of Melbourne. There can be reasons, there can be good reasons for that. For example, if they're offensive or impersonating someone in a way that causes confusion. Okay, fine. If it's going to cause confusion in terms of branding or it's going to impersonate people. But this was not the case. And this woman only had a thousand followers. And by the way, Meta is not Metaverse. It is Meta. So it shouldn't have taken the name away from her. So this is a great, 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 great shame. Um, and apparently on December 2nd, a month after Bowman's first appeal to Instagram to restore her account, the New York Times contacted Meta to ask why uh, they incorrectly removed for impersonation and would res be restored. We're sorry the error occurred, he wrote. Hmm. Well, let's see what we believe it because we know how uh, you know, how much Meta, you know, take their time to resolve these kind of things. And do go and check the previous video that we uploaded on the website where Meta deleted our Facebook account after 24 hours without any good reasons whatsoever. So that was a very interesting video. Video, do go ahead and check that video on our Facebook account as well, because you'll learn a lot from that thing too. So guys, I, I just want to talk about now, now, why is it big that the fact is that Meta are Meta? Check this out. Check this out. So let's go to uh, let's go to this website now. Domain.com. Right. I would like to reiterate to you guys or let you know that if you want to purchase a domain name called as Meta, let's say Meta Links, whatever. All right. And you have a company that is going to be called Meta something. You might be in a position where you could potentially be sued by Meta because Meta have the monopoly on the name like they did. Uh, there was a story before. Oh man, it just popped in my mind, but Instagram takes down other Instagram companies 
uh, named company. Wasn't there a big story last year or a couple of years ago uh, where Instagram or Facebook were suing companies because uh, because basically, okay, I'll find the story and I'll do a separate, I'll do a follow-up video on this. But basically, uh, Instagram or Facebook were suing companies in the past that were using the word Insta um, in, in the name. So a lot of plugins, for example, uh, or a lot of uh, companies where you could upload, you could buy likes or comments or people to comment on your things and things like that as well, were being taken down. Companies were being sued left, right and center because they had the word Insta in the company name. Uh, this was, I think, about two years or year, two years ago, or maybe three years ago. If you remember the, the story, please leave a comment below. I'd love to know if you remember this as well. I'll go and do a research and do a follow-up video maybe uh, or incorporate it in, in, in a future video. So do be very cautious. If you incorporate a, a company called Meta something, uh, and it becomes highly successful, Meta could actually sue you for copyright infringement or, or um, not just copyright, sorry, the word is, I forgot the term, uh, you, you register your name as a trademark, uh, a trademark offense for using the word Meta. So do be very cautious because if you go on, as I mentioned, on domain.com and you want to call your, your company, you know, Meta Links for, um, you know, linking people or Meta Love because you want to create someday a love company uh, or, or, or some kind of company where, you know, you can get people to meet together and, and fall in love, you know, and date and do dating or, you know, so, so basically Meta Dating, you know, uh, or you want to call your company, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, Meta you know, meta housing, because you want to have a virtual reality housing company uh, or, or you want to, or real estate company or, or, or you want to call yourself meta 3D, full stop. So, you know, you do whatever you want and you want to call yourself meta 3D. Well, do be mindful that, you know, similarly to your account on Instagram being taken down or Facebook or wherever it might be, uh, you could potentially in the future, uh, if your company becomes highly successful, uh, of course, Meta can, and you, you're based in a, in, in, in a part of the world where they have the trademark for Meta because of course you have to apply in every single different country in different parts of the world. You could very well be taken to court and, um, and, and what they'll do is they'll settle, this is what they generally do, um, because they probably won't win, but because you won't have the money to, uh, well, some companies don't have the money to, to, to go through the actual motions, because of course Meta have millions of dollars, uh, they will just settle and you'll be lost without your thing, or you could just be forced to close down all completely, uh, as they sometimes do as well, uh, and then boom, that's it, you're done. So do be mindful of this. This is why I wanted to talk about this video tonight, not just bring awareness and education in terms of people's Instagram accounts being taken down for no reason, just because they have a similar name, but also because potentially companies could be taken to the cleaners simply because they have the word meta in the name and they don't own the trademark for that part of the name. So do be aware of that. It's very much possible it could occur and I will keep you up to date. So do make sure you enable the bell after you subscribe, not just because we're giving away a brand new HP Reverb G2 upon hitting 9,000 subscribers, uh, which we will announce as part of the 10,000 subscribers uh, commemoration on the channel or a brand new HP pair of, of cyber shoes as well or keys. Uh, giveaway keys, you know, uh, they'll be given away as well, but also because of all the news and the stuff and the updates that we upload to the channel as well. So guys, thank you very much for today's channel. I'll see you in the comments below. Otherwise, in a new video very soon. Bye guys. Oh, wait, no, not by, not by. Sorry, let's, let's go to the Twitter feed. I want to talk to you about the uh, Ultralee because I forgot yesterday. So for those who uh, are still watching, let's transition over and go to the uh, our Twitter. So if you're on the Twitter, do go and check it out because we do upload, is this upload the stuff. One? Yep, it is. So uh, I, we had a little party yesterday here uh, at VR Essentials and had some people try the Ultralee for the very first time and they just had so much fun with it. It's so easy to plug in and play. You don't have to do anything whatsoever. I will post, of course, a follow-up video on Ultraleap stuff too. Uh, so do enable the bell after you subscribe for this specific content. But yeah, they're using the hands, um, you know, very easy. It was actually his first 
a VR experience as well, not just using hand tracking, but first experience whatsoever in VR, and he just had so much fun. Um, so it was really, really cool to see this. You can go to our Twitter to watch the full video, and then there's another video here I posted as well. Uh, let me go to our Twitter feed. Uh, it will be just here, this Unity. one here. That's it. That's it, yeah. Unity or Unreal. So it doesn't matter what kind of hands you have or how big they are or whatever. As long as they're in front of the camera, you know, it works really, really well. It's a really cool app, very simple app. I'll talk more about it in a future video in the week uh, coming. So I just wanted to share this with you guys, uh, show you some previews of what's coming to the channel. So that is that. All right, guys, official goodbye now. So as I mentioned, do make sure you enable the bell after you subscribe, as we will be giving away uh, the details of the entry to this competition upon hitting 9,000 subscribers. So do hit the reshare button to all your social media, as this is what you'll be potentially winning, and also a brand new pair of cyber shoes, as I keep mentioning, and also a voucher to keys and more. And tomorrow, VR covers uh, giveaway coming as well. All right, guys, bye for now.